to show you the best way to find winning Amazon Online Arbitrage products as a beginner as well as examples of what several good products look like. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles. I started flipping name brand products like Nike, Adidas, and Neutrogena about two years ago on Amazon. Since I've done about 4.5 million in sales and that's what I show you how to do on my channel, let's get right into the video. Here inside my screen, we're going to pull up Selleramp right here, which is one of the product research tools you want to have to do this strategy, as well as Keepa right above me, which is the other product research tool you want to have for the strategy. These are both incredibly affordable. We'd love to have you as a Selleramp user at Selleramp.com. They're actually both only 20 bucks a month. And I want to show you guys what a winning product is, and then we'll get going with the product research method. So we can see this shoe on Amazon. Just looking at it, it, it looks like a nice popular Nike model. If we go over to Nike.com, we can see we can pick it up for 55 bucks with another 20% off, right? So we're going to pay about 45 bucks for this, right? And then that really nicely hits the one to two rule in that you guys know for a product to be profitable on Amazon, the sale price to buy cost ratio has to be one to two, um, basically. So say an item sells for 100, for it to be profitable, you typically need to buy it for like $50 or less, basically. So this is an item that sells for 105 right here, and we can see the seller in the buy box right here, which is the buy it now option. This is where you want to be as a seller. Um, nice thing is it rotates, so if you're priced competitively, you're gonna get in the buy box. Um, on this stuff, we can see at that 105 sale price, that's going to leave us $37 profit per sale and an 85% ROI. And then we can validate the demand of this product by looking and seeing that the overall listing has a 16K BSR, which is very good. You want to be staying under 100,000 BSR. And then we can scroll down on the Cuba chart and see that the competition has gone down in this and that just and that on, uh, on June 29th, there were four sellers. And now there's only two, right? So we know that this item sells and has a really, really ROI. So there's a chance that at a lower price, this product would probably sell quicker right here. And the nice thing too, is we can hop down to the variations and see, actually a lot of these are good in that a lot of the other sizes we can see are in like the hundred grand right here. Now we can also see that some of these don't have reviews, but they've also only been around for a hundred days, right? So it makes sense that they might not have reviews right there. So a couple of these actually are, are pretty nice. Um, right here and the gray ones might be good too at, at a 40 cost as well. Basically, we can see, yeah, 115 or uh, 105 right there. FBM seller in the buy box too, which is always a good sign. Um, it's very nice. So what we can do now is we want to do what's called reverse sourcing to find more products from here. So that's going to be uh, when we look inside the catalogs of other sellers to get inspiration and find other products that they're selling. So how that's done basically is by scrolling down on Selleramp to the Offers tab. And now what we can do is go ahead and click the names of these different sellers. And we can take a look and see inside their storefronts to see their ratings counts, their review count. Anyone with over like 50 reviews is making good money with this stuff. It's really, really hard to get reviews and actually don't really matter. Right here, and then their total ASIN count, right? As well as what brands they carry, as well as what categories they carry, right? So over time, the goal is to start to see patterns and understand, you know, what sites I like to buy from, what types of items I like to sell, um, everything like that. And I got, you know, a bunch of videos if you want to learn how to get updated, if you want to keep a tutorial, a full seller ramp walkthrough, all those links in the description if you want to check out more videos. And then I do answer all comments as well. So if you have any questions, please let me know down below too. Right here, but we can see this seller predominantly sells a bunch of Nike products. This seller, for example, has tons of different stuff. He has actually over 5,000 ASINs, right? This is going to be pretty difficult um, to find a bunch um, from him. That's, that's pretty much too much, I would say, right here. But what we can do is we can go down on the variations and find, you know, one of these listings that has like around 10 sellers. And then we can go ahead and take a look at, yeah, 37 right here. And then we can go ahead just to get a sense of what other seller storefronts look like, open up some of these and just see kind of what they got, right? Get a sense of the types of stuff other people are selling because we're not just looking to carry one product. We're looking to carry dozens of different good products, dozens of different sizes, um, colors of different shoes, or not dozens, but several, right? And we can get a sense looking at the storefronts of other sellers of what other people are selling, right? Other brands, categories, specific products. And that can really, really help us in terms of being see this seller's got all these brands, Right here, this seller's got a ton of this stuff right here. And then we can see, yeah, Coach, Pantry Delight, Magnolite, Breville, right? Tons of different stuff we can go ahead and look through. And then what we can do is actually go ahead here and we can see, so we already found these guys profitable. 
right there. And we can validate the demand of different products, right? And then open these guys up. So like we can see this one's a 29K BSR right here. This one's a 16K BSR right here. So we know that these products are moving, right? So now what we just got to do is go ahead and open up these listings, right? And then we got to go ahead and hunt for these products at profitable prices right here too, basically. So we can see, yeah, 16K, can open up that one right here. The nice thing is there's no shortage of profitable products. The constraint for you guys is typically going to be being able to locate and find these products at profitable prices, which comes from getting discounts, finding stuff on sale, everything like that. So let's get these tabs closed. Okay. So now, right, we got a bunch of products up here, a lot of Nike sneakers, and what we're going to see what we can do and see if we can find stuff with a 35% plus ROI or 30% ROI if it's not a shoe right there. So... We can see these Nike men's um, court vision sneakers right here. Um, what I typically like to do is just give a quick Google to kind of get a vibe of like what the retail price is on, uh, on different stuff. And then we can see we can pick these up for 50 over on Rack Room right here or 55 on, uh, on Nike.com right here. So we know if any of these are selling for around 100, right, we're going to have a shot at finding these right here. And then I also know I can get a 10% code on Rack Room, Nike.com. They look like they have a 20% code going on. I can also use a discounted gift card to get that down further. Right here, a lot of the money with this stuff, guys, is in being able to actually go ahead and locate discounts. Right here, we can see on DTLR, these are on sale for 50. Right here, I don't know of any discounts on DTLR right here, but we can see if any of these are in the 100 range, we're going to have a shot at being profitable. So what I want to do here is hop in variations, right? And then I want to go and you're going to have to move your columns around to match mine. So I'd recommend pausing this video and going and doing that on your own Kiva right here. And we can filter by the buy box price right here. And we can see this is a different product and 350 bucks is too expensive. So we, let's get back down to the core visions. So occasionally listings are weird like this and everything. Okay. We can see like, yeah, the grays are like all 105 right here. Uh, white and black size six, what, uh, size 15 right here. Nike.com will probably have that if I had to guess. Let's see. Oh, okay, cool. Damn, 15% cash back on Rakuten. It's crazy, too. Look at that. Okay, so let's see. So if we go here, size 15, right here. So this is actually not going to be the one or two rule, but I think it is going to be profitable just based on the sale price and the fee breakdown. Luckily, uh, SellerAmp is actually going to tell us that right here. So let's hop over here and see what we got. All right, where's SellerAmp right here? Okay. Okay, so um, we can see the current buy box is $100 right here, and we can pick these up for 68 right? And then we also get another 20% off on that, right? So if we take 20% off, we can see um, that's going to leave us $22 profit right here and about a 40% ROI. Now, this does not include sales tax, so depending on your state, um, you're probably going to pay an extra 4 to 10%, um, percent, it really on the high end, 10%. But um, So most of you guys are going to be at like, you know, a 35% ROI on stuff like this. The nice thing is I would consider also buying a discounted gift card for this, which I'll probably get like another 30% off right there. Um, that's largely going to be done through Carb Cash or Raise right there. The platforms for discounted gift cards It's a great way to add extra profit margins right there. But we can see looking at the Keepa, this is pretty consistently in the 100 range. Right here, we can see as of the past couple of months right here, um, what we can also do is go here, data, and then hit buy box statistics right here. And we can see the average price that the buy box is going to across the past 30 days, across the past 90 days. And we can see there's a lot of buy box here at 100 right there, 25% plus, which is a lot right there. So we can see um, that's, a, that's a fine product. It's not a home run by any means, but you know, it pays the bills, $20 profit. You'll love to see it. Um, and then uh, the thing was, Oftentimes on shoes, it's really nice. You can find multiple variations profitable um, right here. I don't think there were any of the all white ones that were similarly expensive right here. Oh, six and a half. Okay. Damn. Okay. They have a six and a half too. All right. Um, six and a half is 95. This is going to be close. I, I don't think it's quite going to be good, but it's going to be close. So let's see. We're at 68 times 20 right here. Yeah. So depending on your sales stock, you know, if you were in uh, Pennsylvania or Minnesota, New Hampshire, Delaware, Oregon, Montana, one of these states with no sales tax, that should be pretty good um, right there because we can gift card as well. We can see super stable price action right here on that. So I think that's super cool um, right there. So a couple winners right there. Let's, uh, let's keep it rolling right here. Let's see, we should be able to find a bunch of stuff and I want to, you know, really be able to rock and roll um, for you guys and show you how much opportunity there is with this stuff because it changed my life and I think it can do the same there. I'm sure it can do the same thing for you if you're willing to put in the work and really grind. These are up to like 100. We can validate demand by seeing that these do have reviews. 
and they have pretty low competition looking at the new offer counts right here as well. So let's see what we got. Okay, we want these pink ones, TR12. Oh, okay, those are a little different, I believe. Got like the strap right there. Yeah, okay, those are different. 43. Oh, those look super cheap though. There's a lot of deals going on right now. Yeah, because like if I were just source going, I'd look up literally all these. Like let's look up these uh these women's ones right here. Okay. Uh yeah, it must not be an Amazon listing for these. I don't see anything that matches. I'm sure there's money in this stuff though, just looking at these other ones, right? Because we know if they have reviews, people have to be making money with them, right? So let's keep rolling with that. What we can also do is right click this and image uh Google search this. See if they got it. Yeah, it's like yeah, not really on any U.S. website. So we will pass on that. Let's see these Nikes right here. 15K rank. Absolutely fantastic. Right there. We can see these are 90 bucks right here, and they have 10 reviews. Right here, let's see what we got. And this same principle applies to everything, basically, right? Some of you guys were asking in the comments, me do other categories. I definitely will. Um, but the nice thing is that these same exact principles apply, and this is just some of the most arbitrage-friendly stuff, and that if you want to do other types of uh, products, you're going to deal with uh, competing with more wholesalers and stuff, and that's fine. Um, you just got to understand you don't have to work a little bit harder, basically. Right there on that one. Let's see. This looks great, potentially, right here at 40. Now, this is a different product, but it just looks like a deal right here. Let's uh, take a look at this guy. 6% cash back. Let's image Google search this, see if you can find this nice and quick right here. We've got an Amazon listing. Okay, now let's try. Let's plug this in. Nike Revolution 6 NM. Damn, is there really not a listing for these guys? That's annoying. All right, well, let's keep it uh, keep it rolling. Really nothing. Uh, image Google search this uh, it's got to. 66 out of stock. Yeah, no problem. All right, cool. Either way, that's fine. Right there, Pegasus 38. Let's see anything else look like a deal here? Those white ones, yeah, those initial ones we looked at look great. These at 39 look very good too right here. Revolution 6. Okay. Oh, there's those ones we wanted. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Wow. So this one has no buy box, but it's probably still selling. Yeah. So we can see, even though they took away the buy box, it's still selling because we can see that the competition has continued to go up and down, basically. Right here. But we can see we've got the black and gray ones. We're paying like 40 bucks. Let's see these blues right here. See, sometimes it's a little difficult to navigate the uh, colors, but then you just get used to it, and it's pretty easy. There, black and white are like 46 right here. These are men's ones. Men's ones, cool. All right, yeah, winners. Winners, 12 and a half, um, 6 and a half, 94 right here. See, now that, right, so this one has no reviews right here, but there's five people, and it's only been around for 414 days. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to look at the Kiba chart for this specific variation to see if this is moving right here, right? And then I can see that this absolutely is, right? Looking that there were eight people on a June 9th, and then on June 25th, there were only two sellers right there, right? So what we can do is we can see we're at, uh, yeah, 56 right here, right? And then we want to take off 0.8 right there. That is a gorgeous ROI, super stable price right here, right? So that one was good, right? I believe that six and a half was good as well. Yeah, 94. It's the same seller in the buy box there. It's the same exact metrics. Right here, we're paying 46. Now, Nike 6. Yeah, okay. Nike Revolution 6. Yeah, okay. Nike Revolution 6. Makes sense. Cool. All right. See, so, yep. It's got that little emblem right there. Got the little emblem right there. Cool. Yeah, 56 times 0.8 right there. And that's to take off 20%, right? Boom. Right there. 60% ROI. <laughs> Super. Super good price action. Look at that buy box hanging out there at 94. Boom, love to see that, cool. All right, so yeah, that's another winning item right there. It really is easy when you get in a rhythm um, with stuff. And then we know that that other color was uh, about um, 40 bucks on um, Rack Room. So let's go, uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see if that's still hanging out there. See if the size seven's in stock right here. Ah, okay, so. This size seven's out of stock. Now, at a $40 cost, this would be profitable right here at 81. Um, the problem is it's currently out of stock right here. So this would be the kind of thing I would go ahead and scroll down on Selleramp, right? And then what you want to do within Selleramp is actually set up your Google Sheets integration so that when you find a product like this that's out of stock, you can just zap the data on this product 
to your out-of-stock spreadsheet, which is going to be a database of good products you found that are currently out of stock that you can go ahead and take a look at for the future, um, basically right there. So that's incredibly important to staying organized um, is to actually go ahead and set up the Google Sheets um, feature within Selleramps so that you can keep track of stuff and everything. That's one of the most popular features right there. But um, that one's the winning item, just not currently in stock right there. But let's uh, let's keep it rolling right here. We're on a roll, right? So you can see we're finding good stuff. We're finding discount discounted we're hopping around the variations we can see this guy we can see there's a bunch of them in like the 110 to 130 range um so if we can pick these up for like 65 bucks um with the one to two roll we're gonna be nice and profitable okay women's oh game time yeah <laughs> all right here we go are these going to be in stock? Okay, so right here, yeah, 15% cash back. We're at 64. And I know some of you guys are watching this. So you're unsure, like, you know, how many you should buy when you find a product. I'd recommend starting super small and low risk. Just grab a couple of something, especially if you see someone's an FBM seller in the buy box, there's a good chance you can get the buy box as an FBM seller too, right? So you can go ahead and, and you know, just grab a couple of units of stuff. I want you guys to start small, low risk, diversified right? Get to 10, 20, 30 ASINs available as quick as possible. Nice things. We found like 10 just so far in this, especially with the power of variations and stuff. Right now, you're not going to buy these products, but it's more so inspiration in terms of what a good product looks like, right? Um, so we can see these are at a uh, 64 cost right here. We can see the uh, fantastic 40 bucks profit right there. And we can see historically we've been profitable, you know, the vast majority of this calendar year, right? If we look at the nine day right here, the buy box stats on Keepa, we can see we're pretty we're we're profitable the whole time, right there, right. So that's a uh, super super profitable, right there. We can see yeah eleven one twenty six. Um, what are the wolf grays at? The wolf grays yeah twenty percent code right here. And you see how this stuff wouldn't make sense without the discounts, right? If we just plug in eighty bucks right here, right, we're gonna be at yeah like seven dollars profit in eight percent ROI. That definitely doesn't work. But the key here is that we can take off 0.8 right here, and then now we're in here at $23 profit, right, and a 36% ROI, right? And the nice thing is we can see this is pretty low competition, as has been low competition too, and we can see all this data over time on Keepa, see what actually makes sense with this. So the nice thing is this is kind of a clean sweep, right? Say so you just found this on your own, it's a bunch of good stuff. I would definitely catalog this stuff for the future. The nice thing is there's gonna be stuff that doesn't have a buy box too, that's also good <laughs> like a, a women's size oh they don't have the all black ones on naked.com but that's the problem right there so yeah that's really really good stuff right there and it's it's awesome you know it's a really really good opportunity basically let's keep it rolling right here and everything and the nice thing too is we can see we can even go through a lot of this right like we're just getting started in terms of going through different storefronts and then from those leads we just found there's storefronts to open from there so on and so forth basically um on this stuff so feel free take a look at these products you can open them up on amazon on your own go ahead and reverse source off them and you'll find more stuff um right there i appreciate you guys watching this sourcing video if you want to check other tutorials um you can click the links in the description or there's going to be videos that pop up on the screen here see you guys in the next one